Okay, uh, sorry about the delay. We will start in a bit. I hope the recording is on. Uh, okay, so first person that I have in the list is Ankul Meena. Good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah, very good evening. Uh, sorry about the camera. We'll uh, join with the camera soon. You can start your presentation. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uncle, can you confirm your uh, title? Yes, sir. It's the developer doctor search website. So you have already given it, right? Once? No, sir. Uh, uh, so have you given on functional scopes and uh, data type variable and control structure, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, please start with the doctor search. And just a quick announcement that if you have not received uh, uh, attendance mail or your score for uh, for the previous presentation uh, or the day before previous presentation, uh, then you will receive it by tomorrow or by next week, uh, probably on Monday or Sunday. Okay, because we are currently uh, upgrading our servers. So uh, it is taking time for some verification. So we will start with Ankul. Uh, and then I will make a sort of host and then you can uh, continue from there on. Okay, Uncle, you can start with the presentation. So I'll be presenting on the developer doctor search website. Uh, I am a member of web, full stack web developer group. So for, uh, in today's presentation, we'll go through the fundamentals of creating a doctor search website landing page. Uh, we'll go through the various tools I've used in the making of the website, which includes Figma, Postman, um, etc. So agenda for the task is, uh, firstly, we'll create the landing page using Figma uh, uh, with and so that the user can use the local area, their local area and search the doctors. Uh, so we will provide two or search options to the user. Uh, first, first one would be type of doctor general physician dentist etc and second one will be location their location home business uh finally we have to host the website with any of the hosting services online so in this uh, i have used the tools figma logo by ai php jquery mysql so uh, the process i have the the process i have used is firstly i have created a user interface with the figma tool then i have converted the figma design into the, with the help of Locopy into the HTML and CSS code and exported it and then uploaded it in the hosting triple uh, zero web host and then I have employed the PHP web service .php file for, for connecting the front end and the back end part and uh, I have written there my SQL query inside it and I have implemented the search features on the landing page the location in search and then I have created the MySQL database of doctors, which will contains their name, the location, their image, and their what physician they are. And then I have tested my PHP file using the Postman, whether it works or fine or not, before hosting the site website. Then after that, uh, yeah, I have hosted the website using triple zero Um This is my Figma design. This is the search bar which uh, we will give specialty user will give the specialty and their location and they can search according to the doctors they need nearby then with this is the uh, code generated using the local file after i submitted my figma design so it provides us html and css file css file so I have used triple zero web host, which uh, as it is as it is free to use and provides all the necessary tools for hosting website, uh, as it provides how uh, managing the databases and also provides us uh, a way to manage the files. So this is the database I have created, um, which includes the ID, IDs, the doctor name, doctor information, uh, out of information includes their experience in which they are located, doctor image and the category. Um, this is the web service code. So this is the web service PHP code which connects the front end and the back end part. I have taken the search and area using the post method and taken 
the variable and here i have just connect uh, checked whether the the um, search and area part is not none and they have taken the the um, post method and they have taken the variable which are inputs which are provided this is the local host id and username password which I, which will help me to establish a connection uh, to the mysql server hmm. Um, this is the SQL query, which will run and uh, compare the input and provide the location of uh, doctors accordingly. So select all from city, select all the doctors, um, which matches the area and their, their category. And uh, this is the SQL query. And after uh, the um, database, it will check, connect it will use my database and use the SQL query to provide a result and it will store it in the result table. Then with this, uh, the, in the result table, it will check if there are, uh, how many rows are there. If there are no rows, then it, this code will not run. Uh, if there are more than one row or even one row, it, this code will start running. And uh, this is the middle part where doctor found in your area will be this shown. The number of doctors will be listed. And so now this uh, with the uh, row, it will checking row result. It will uh, as result re result table contains the doctor's list. It will fetch the rows one by one, and the row has ID, doctor name, information, doctor image according to our database, and it will start put it the doctor ID, doctor name, doctor info, and doctor image, and then it will show it on the screen landing page one by one the rows will iterate over it. So for testing this web service file as it runs perfectly or not, so I have used the postman postman service with the post method. I have provided the key, key search and area as their ID and the values. I checked it according to the values I have given to the database. The postman is one of the most popular software testing tools which is used for API testing with the help of this tool, developers can easily create, test, and share their document APIs. Um, post. So, what is post method? Post method is mainly used at uh, by the client side to send data and to a specified server in order to create or rewrite a particular resource. Um, so, this is my final website I created. This is the first landing page which it will be shown to the user, and after searching the according to their needs location and what type of doctor they need the it will the this bar will convert to a doctor found in your area and it will provide the doctor's list as it providing the image it's look uh, the doctor's name and the their experience so in conclusion this task helped me to learn various tools uh, such as figma locofi postman and also how to create a and host website and how to connect the front end back end part and get the idea, basic idea. Oops. These are the references I've used. This is my email ID for me contacting. This is the website link. Uh, you can ask any questions if you have any. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Are you uh, done with your uh, presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, not an issue. Uh, so, okay, uh, so uh, do you have a demonstration or no? Uh, I have shown the demonstration in, in the presentation itself. Yes, sir. Using uh, the screenshots. Uh, yes, sir. I can show okay. the demo also. I have... See, you uh, presentation is already done. Okay, uh, so we will consider the screenshot as a demo. Okay, yes, uh, so the, the your review will be done by Saurabh Singh. Okay, I am making him host and then he will take it. Oh, yeah, Saurabh, I have made you host and I believe I can continue the recording. So you can mute everyone and then you can start with the uh, his review session and then you can continue. Okay, okay I believe uh, you, uh, you did review him. So uh, he uh, did... no no uh, I haven't reviewed. No. I just okay. confirm if it if his presentation is done. Okay 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 so yeah cool. Uh, I believe uh, your demo part was uh, could could be done better. 
like you did use uh, solid colors in your demo part uh, it could have been used like replaced with gradient colors to make it more attractive uh, and uh, talking about the back end part like uh, you did explain the back end part there was uh, there was this uh, uh, like uh, the the demo part you showed and then the back end part you could have showed us the uh, postman service right you did use postman right Okay, I believe you are muted. Just a second. Yeah, you can unmute yourself now. Uh, yes, sir. It was just for, for the purpose of checking it. If it yeah, so, but it, uh, it did, it does play a very important role, right? To check whether a uh, website will work properly or not, right? So, yeah, uh, you could have included that and then... Uh, no. so rest I have your... included the postman part in my... But this screenshot, right? Yes, sir. So but uh, you right. could just show us the uh, uh, postman service. You could just uh, uh, keep keep uh, keep it uh, in your background and run it so because it it won't be uh, harming your website. Right? Okay. Like it's an important aspect of the uh, uh, topic. That's why I'm okay. asking you. To... Yeah. Well, the rest uh, your yeah, flow was nice and uh, you kept everything. And uh, yeah, that's all from my side. Yeah, so uh, after Uncle, we have Abhishek with us. Uh, please unmute yourself, Abhishek. Good evening, sir. Audio uh, video is clear. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me your topic name? Uh, so, my project name is a stock trading application. Stock trading app. Yeah. Overview of a project and can you be more clear? Hello. Yeah, so uh, just share your screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's pro overview of projects and options. Yes. Can I start, sir? Yeah, you may start. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Abhishek Singh from Java Developer Group. Uh, I'm presenting my project for a stock trading application. So, up until today's agenda was, uh, we will see about the stock trading application. Trading application uh, and uh, best share app, stock trading app, and how stock trading app works how to build a stock trading application. Moving to our first topic, that is, uh, what is stock trading application? A stock trading application is a basic online platform or a mobile app that uh, that allows the people to easily buy or easily sell a stock and other financial uh, It provides the users with the real-time information about the uh, financial market and investment tools to manage their investment. It, it allows to manage uh, uh, the uh, the portfolios of investors, investment from anywhere at any time using any devices. So moving to our next slide. That's why stock trading application. So stock trading app uh, uh, offers uh, several advantages like uh, real-time data update, low transaction fees, conventions, access to the global market, making it easier investor to trade and manage their portfolios from anywhere at any time. Moving to the next slide, that is best share stock trading app. So there are many uh, stock trading apps, but I have listed some of them. So uh, first is Robin. Uh, Robinhood uh, is a popular stock trading application uh, that, uh, that provides a uh, low permission fee uh, uh, it allows the users to uh, users to invest in the stocks uh, uh, with the no, no minimum amount of uh, uh, required. Uh, uh, Robinhood is uh, known for their uh, user friendly interface and uh, uh, their a uh, simple navigation. A uh, second one is Xtrade. Uh, Xtrade is uh, basically is a uh, online broker that offers uh, a range of uh, investment. Uh, including uh, stocks, bonds, 
mutual funds etc uh, stats uh, stats is a uh, basically is a mobile application that uh, 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 that uh, offers uh, that provide uh, educational content and uh, a personalized uh, uh, personalized advice moving to our next slide uh, uh, how to stock uh, how to stock trading app work so basically a stock trading application is a user friendly app so that it uh, designs uh, the proper way of handling money including uh, borrowing storing trading spending investing and even protecting it so next slide a uh, steps uh, how to stock trading app work so there are six steps uh, first one is registration first the user have to create their account and uh, fill their information uh, and details uh, and second one is funding the account uh, the user have to link their bank details debit card credit card uh, uh, and fund it uh, in the uh, trading application or a platform third one is researching stock a uh, user have to research a uh, stocks uh, or uh, uh, or a market trending stock uh, fourth one is placing trade uh, the investor I think one a withdrawing fund. A user or an investor can easily withdraw their uh, Hello, Abhishek. Hello. Hello. So I'm audible. Yeah, you're audible. I believe you got disconnected. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, my network bandwidth, sir. Okay. Uh, please reshare. Okay. Sir, can I uh, start? Uh, can I? Yeah, just continue, continue where you left. Start from yeah. starting. Just continue where you left. Okay, okay sir. Uh, so how to build a stock trading application so basically uh, there are many steps to build up a uh, successful stock trading application first is integrate uh, integrate the project uh, first we have to uh, select a proper or a ex equity uh, team uh, like experienced uh, ex experienced developers uh, uh, they And second is the defined scope of project why you are doing a project uh, 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 what is customer need uh, it was customer want, want and third is get your app secured uh, the security is of one to uh, we have to uh, take up better security features just to secure our uh, uh, customers uh, data uh, data uh, full features of uh, to speed up the development uh, speed up the development process uh, uh, use the cloud server uh, service uh, service like uh, likely we need a, a proper skill and xd uh, like uh, we need a uh, uh, we need a JavaScript developers uh, for web development. We need a, a Swift developer for iOS develop, uh, development. Uh, we need a Android developers for uh, uh, Android developers for Android apps. Uh, and we need a testers. Uh, uh, we need a UI designers, uh, etc. Then uh, develop uh, six one is develop API for implementing core and non core features. Uh, uh, 
make sure that uh, your your app uh, supports to android web or ios or not uh, then last one is testing uh, deliver and maintenance uh, while uh, after you're developing a project uh, you have to test the test abhishek can you uh, turn your camera on please okay I'm, I'm visible, sir. Yeah, please continue. Okay. So let's uh, last step is testing and delivering a maintenance. So we have to test your project and then launch to uh, marketplaces. And uh, we have a la technical support to maintain and uh, update to a daily uh, daily basis. So moving to the next slide. Conclusion. So overall, stock trading app is the main aim to provide a consequent accessible way to individuals or uh, investors to invest in a stock uh, and manage their investments from their mobile devices. So uh, if you have any questions, you can freely to ask me. So there are the differences. If you have any query, you can uh, free, uh, you can refer this following link. Thank you. Okay, Abhishek, is it done? Yes, sir, I'm done. Okay. Uh, see, Abhishek, uh, your flow was uh, interrupted because of your internet connection. Yes, sir. Yes, so, so. Yeah, so uh, we believe uh, that's a not a very good sign for a presentation. Uh, you should. Check whether your internet's working or not before giving any actual presentation. Okay, so these yes, things should not, yeah these things should not happen in the uh, internship meetings. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yeah, and uh, do you yourself use any stock trading uh, application? Uh, yes, sir. Which one is it? Uh, sir, uh, uh, I use the bet applications. Uh, uh. Like uh, uh, one one X bet application, I will I uh, use. Okay, but you didn't mention it in the PPT. Uh, no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what I was asking. And uh, then again, see, uh, when you start this kind of topic, now it's nice that you give a good introduction about this topic. But I believe you could have added a hook story, right? So why, uh, what are we going to uh, do with these stock trading applications? And uh, what was the necessity for you to do this task? You could have built a good hook story about this, right? And then started the presentation. Yes, sir. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you do like this hook story part, and uh, the rest of your slides look good. It's just your internet connection was so bad that you got disrupted and. Uh, the flow was not good because of that. Okay, Sorry. so I'll, I'll I believe you should just check your connections first and then start your presentations. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's all from my side. So we'll move forward. We have uh, Oves with us next. Please unmute yourself, Oves. Yes, sir. Can you see me and hear me? Yeah, you can do. Okay, can you just tell me your topic? Uh, it's the same, sir. Uh, the overview of the project. Hello. Okay, please share your screen. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, can you see now? Everything yeah. is there? Yeah. You can start. Okay, so now, okay, I'll start. So good evening, everyone. My name is Ovez Altaf Sheikh, and uh, I'm from Web Developer Group, and I'll be presenting about the topic of overview of the project synopsis. Project synopsis in here, the project is real-time stock market data web application. So we are going to talk about the overview of the project synopsis. So in the overview, uh, uh, I will show, uh, I will include in the form of an SR document. So you will know how actually this also can be made. The how can a real-time stock market data web application 
can be made and what is in that that real time data uh, stock market data web application and in the end i will show you a reference website on how it should look like so let's get started what is a real time stock market uh, data web application uh so uh, uh, a full stack web application that allows investors to track real time stock market data in an easy to understand format what it means is that whenever we go to a, a stock market data web application we need it to be uh, easy to understand we don't need a uh, a lot of pop ups a lot of uh, information uh, thrown in our face and it needs to be clear so that uh, investors can make a better uh, uh, investment options so uh, we need to talk about its features so its key features being is it's itself a real time stock market data real time data we're talking about it pulling uh, data and a display so it will pull the data uh, from the back end and display in the front end so this all data is connected through apis so the front end and the back end is connected both through apis it will display stock prices volume market trends and other information next we need is user authentication and security we are talking about money here and we are talking about financial information so it needs to be properly secured and the user data needs to be protected then we got easy to understand format which is basically it needs to be easy to understand it needs to be clear and it needs to be easy to be read and uh, basically anyone should be able to use it responsive design so responsive design meaning it should be it should work on a tab it should work on a mobile it should work on a laptop and it needs to and the website should be optimized that's all so technologies the technologies that is used in real uh, time stock market data web application front end back end and apis front end being the structure of our web and the So front end and back end. To use the front end and back end together, we need to establish communication that I have told it is done through APIs. So the front end sends requests to the back end through APIs, and the back end processes the request and returns responses to the front end. So working of both ends, how they will work. As I told you, the front end is built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which is a structure. It will display the user interface and receiving. It is also used for the same user input. The front end sends a request to the back end using an API, and the back end built using Node.js, MongoDB, etc. These are the technologies that are used for making the back end. So uh, process, they process the request and they retrieve the real time stock market data from the external APIs and return the data to the front end. The front end then displays the data in an easy to understand format. Then what are the challenges that we'll be facing? There are two main challenges. The first main challenge is to get the data. Okay. It's to display the data in the front end by uh, accessing it to the back end by using APIs. Then another challenge will be to implement the uh, user authentication and uh, the protection of the user. And what upon completion, as you know, what the stock market or uh, you know web application will deliver to us. It will deliver a fully functional uh, real-time stock market data web application. Documentation outlining the design and development of the application, a presentation showcasing the application and its features. Conclusion: The stock market data web, data web application is an essential tool for investors who want to track their investments in real time. Oh, yes, I believe your slides are not changing. From which point, sir? Uh, it's showing me a uh, technologies slide. Okay, then, so I don't know, sir, what's the problem? I'll sh stop the screen share and share it once again. Is it visible now? Yeah, it's visible now. Okay, so can I start from here or do I move on to the conclusion part? Uh, yeah, you need to start from here. Okay, so, so front end and back end. To use the front end and back end together, we need to establish communication between us. This is done through APIs. The front end sends requests uh, through the API to the back end, and the back end processes the request and returns responses to the front end. Now, moving to the next slide. So, working of both ends. The front end is built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, responsible for displaying the user in and receiving user input. 
the front end sends a request to the back end using an API. The back end is built using these technologies such as Node.js. And then it uh, gets the request and it processes it and then it sends back again. Simple as that. The front end then displays the uh, data in an easy to understand format. We got challenges now. What will be the challenges while creating such an application? The main challenge of this project will be to uh, get the uh, data from the back end and display it into the front end using APIs. Then the second challenge will be to implement user authentication and uh, protection of user data. We got deliverables, what it will deliver upon completion. A fully functional real-time stock market data web application will be delivered and uh, documentation of learning the design and development of the application, uh, presentation showcasing the application and its features, etc. We have reached the conclusion and the stock market web application is an essential tool for investors who want to track their investment in a real time. And the application provides an easy to understand format, ready space, stock market data, and other essential information to investors. The web application is developed using modern web technologies such as React.js, Node.js, and MongoDB. These are the backend technologies that can be used, making it a very bad addition to any full stack web developer's portfolio. If there's any question and answers, thank you. But wait, there is still more. I will show you. Uh, I will show you the reference for how a stock market would look like if we need all of these points together. As you can see, this is a simple looking uh, stock market uh, website. And as you can see here, there are good, uh, there are popular stock that is given to us, which is the most popular stock. And this is the most common stock, uh, which, which is easily accessible to anyone. And if we need to know more about it, we can just search more about it. So let's see here, we got news I'm talking about the news of the stock to on what to invest and what is happening in real time. And if you want to know about stocks, we can just click on one and we got our stock. And in this such a manner, if uh, the real time stock market uh, data application should be made and it should be like this so that it can be easily understandable. Thank you. This was my presentation. So I'm done with my presentation. Okay, OS, uh, just a second. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, OS. yeah, so are you done with your presentation? Are you taking any questions? Uh, yes, sir, if there's any questions you can ask. Okay. I'm done with my okay, presentation. So can you tell me uh, what did you get when you get the uh, email of this present, uh, of this task? So what, what do you think, what was the scope of this uh, task? What you actually needed to do? Can you explain? So I, so I was to uh, talk about how what a uh, how this uh the stock market web application would be made, or like what will be the technologies and how it will be used in the particular web application. Okay. And can you tell what me will the uh, process behind it? So can you tell me what actual pro uh, project was? The project was to make a stock market data web application. Okay, so what did you understand? Like what features should a stock market application have? Sir, it should have a, the basic technologies will be the front end. Then we will be having the back end, which will be we will be having a, a, a data of the stocks and its amounts and prices, etc. And then the APIs will be able to connect uh, all of those things. Like for example, uh, it will update. The APIs will help us to update the back end uh, and the front end. So whenever there is a, a changes in the, the stocks, the, the back end will be updated and it will be supplied to the front end, which will be really, uh, it, that's why there is a responsive point in my presentation, which needs to be responsive. So it could always change uh, and it could display new data. Uh, in the task email, did you had uh, specified like what component, what technology uh, technologies that you need to use in front end, back end and uh, for the middleware? Yes, sir, there was, there was a, in front end, we had HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. And then uh, it was Node.js, MongoDB. Okay. In so, backend. Uh, when you say like designing a stock market application, okay, and creating yeah. a software uh, requirement specification or simply a project flow for the project, okay. So we are not expecting you to create like uh, this is the front end, this will be reactive and everything. Don't do that. Okay. You will get some stock mm. data. Okay. You have to tell us how your website will work, how it is supposed to work, 
how you will make it work and create a create it in a timeline format so say this is the front end and this is how it should look or this is uh, like this is my idea of how, how it will look or how it is supposed to look how i want it to look based on the requirements that i have understood so in a stock market application i should have a feature of searching the stock right for a specific company or i should get an insight on like what are the current trending stocks or what is the current uh, like uh, standing of a particular stock if it is uh, going downhill or going up right mm -hmm. these are the basic features of the stock market you are supposed to tell me how you will make that happen you are supposed to tell me like yeah this is the third party api that i can subscribe for it will give me data then i will use node.js to fetch that data or yeah, i will use node.js to get the data from somewhere else show it on my front end okay if i if i use that srl document that I, you have created or the uh, or uh, the project plan that you have created can i create a stock market application following that what are the chances that i will create entire stock market application using that the goal was not actually create a stock market. It is to understand how you will create it. Right. And second mm -hmm. thing is uh, more important when you are, uh, what was that website that you showed in the demo? Uh, so it was a basic, uh, it was a basic uh, uh, stock market website that uh, I found. Did you create it? No, sir. I just uh, took it See, as a reference. When of how you have like. something like, okay, when you have something like that, you are not supposed to show that as a demo. Okay. Or you are supposed to give a proper, like, you know, uh, reference or proper uh, uh, attributes or uh, credits to the original uh, company or author. Okay. You are doing an internship. This is not a college product where you can use a website and show it in the recording or show it on a, uh, in your project that this is how it is because the way you have given your demo, uh, it was not how it should be. You have not given proper credits. Okay. So make sure when you are using some third party website or showing it in your presentation, uh, in, in future, even if it is in college or in academy or somewhere else, give proper credits. Okay, before you start, so before you I show simple who created the website, who is the company behind the website, and you have to so, so tell like this. finding out what they are. Yeah, like uh, you have to like tell that. this before you show the website on the screen. Say that uh, okay, I will show this website as a okay, demo. So. Like uh, this is the website that I have found to get some ideas. Okay, because if you don't do that. They will say that you have got all of your, your ideas from that website. It will not be original. There will be a question on your authenticity. Okay. Yes, so it doesn't matter where you are or where you are giving a presentation. If it is in our company or somewhere else or even in your college. In your college, it will be more strict. See, we are in a Zoom meeting. It is uh, fine. We can give credits in a uh, letter. Okay. Or like I have said, we have already given the credit, right? Because uh, there was a link in the reference. Uh, even if you have not, but we have given it right now during the Q&A session, then there is no option. But when you are giving a presentation in college, okay, say when you have your last semester, you will have to give proper credits and citations on whatever you are using. Okay, because your university will check when that thesis will go there or your report will go in the university. Okay, so keep this in mind. I just wanted to add this so that you don't uh, make mistakes while giving the proper credits. Okay, because this is a really important okay. thing when you are doing, uh, in an internship. Okay, and other than that, I would say try to understand the core project, what your actual project is. Okay, because see, when you give the demo, you say that to see, this is the search option that I'm getting this uh, trending option. That look like you are giving demo on your own website. And that is not a proper way to give reference. Okay, you have to say that this is how a website looks like. And this is uh, like what we can make. Okay, explain it like that, that we can make something like this, but differently. This is currently we have something like this is possible, but we are trying to make, but we will make it differently. Okay. So try that. And other than that, uh, I believe uh, your further evalu uh, review will be done by uh, Saurabh. Yeah, Saurabh, please uh, take it. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so yes, I did add 
very very valuable points there and i believe uh, yes sir actually covered most of the part and uh, as you know this is a project synopsis right so you need to tell us a flow like how the person who is going to follow your steps and build this website right so there should be a flow chart to to this topic you could have added a flow chart uh, a brief uh, steps how am i going yes. to uh, follow your steps and then going to build this website so that was missing so i believe that flow chart was missing and even if you show us the website right so you could have actually uh, used it uh, after the uh, when you are done with all the information you are about to provide right so when the uh, slides are over uh, and you are going to, to show the demo you you knew you are going to were going to show me the website right so after completing those yes. slides go for demo and then conclude it and then uh, uh, use for q and a and everything so the you could have yeah you could have worked up on your flow part as well so i can so I believe before uh, conclusion yeah you should just uh, show us the demo and then conclude your whole uh, prop, uh, powerpoint and then uh, for the q and a right so there should be a certain flow to okay. your presentation and then uh, yes sir already added that there should be proper credits given and uh, then start the dem because it's not yours right so uh, yeah that that yes. covers everything and uh, i believe uh, you should work upon your flow okay yeah thank you so yeah so let's move forward next uh, we'll call out uh, geeta negi you can unmute yourself geeta good evening sir yeah can i share, share my screen yeah please go ahead this is my task one doctor search website my name is geeta negi i am from a full stack web developer group oh it am not This is a content of my presentation uh, introduction. The aim of this website is to provide a platform um, to people so that they can easily search for a doctor online. Why um, the question arises? Why we need this website? Suppose we are out of town and suddenly we need a doctor, then it is uh, impossible to find a um, doctor in an unfamiliar location. Then this web website can be helpful. this design i downloaded it from a uh, ripple.com as a reference to create a my sigma prototype i used a local uh, so, yeah local4a.ai plugin to export to html and css code from a figma web design this is a database i created where i store a doctor's information doctor name id locations an image contact number php i use php to create a web service where we can search for a doctor for so our locations and a uh, information about a doctor uh, uh, this is a sql my sql query to connect with a database i use jquery to um, integrate web services from a back end to into front end back postman i used postman for to testing the web, um, backend zero zero web host i used to um, this website to, to host my website this is a link for my website okay i created this website uh, over links to input text after clicking on our search button this um, this shows the doctors that found in my area the feature scope of this website is 
that I can in create a mobile app version for this website and add, in, add an additional features on the website like doctor is doctor is available or not or queries from asking or queries from doctor online medical prescription or cancelling an appointment online and many more features conclusion i learned from this by making this website about a figma and uh, locofi.ai we can also use the insist of figma uh, any Adopt XD and for all locofi.i anima plugin also used for exporting a code. This is a reference where I learn YouTube to reference and that ripple.com where I get a web image for a website and my GitHub links and email. If you have any connection, please leave to us and thank you. Okay, Gita, are you done? Yes, sir. Yeah, so Gita, see, it's, it's nice that uh, you are showing everything like uh, the reference and uh, these uh, slides. and But, you know, uh, when you are uh, presenting something, na, so be more specific about the topics you are explaining. See, you did show us the uh, that this is the uh, PHP file and then this is the jQuery and then this is so just just for the sake you are showing us the uh these slides you know it could have explained us now what what does that jQuery do and hardly there that there, this uh, twelve to thirteen line quotes in your back end part you could have explained that too and okay. then you use Postman but there was no snippet or a uh, Postman being shown in the presentation right. So I believe uh, you could have elaborated a topic more thoroughly no? uh, instead of just uh, using them in your slides. Yes, sir. So I believe, see, your introduction part was good. You started properly. Like, why do you need this website? And uh, how do how have you create, created this website? Like, how you referred that and you created this. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, be more specific about the topics you explained. Okay. I will say that. And uh, the demo part, demo part was... Okay, I will say you could have just uh, showed the result in the horizontal manner because uh, there might be uh, five to six doctor, doctor in, in the search section, right? You search for spine surgery and then there are, right? So it will be like a long list vertically and it will consume more space, right? So I'll be uh, I'll be doing more scrolling part, which I don't want. I'll just need a quick uh, name of the doctor. So it would be more uh, nice if it's in horizontal manner, right? You can do it, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so uh, I believe uh, Yes, sir, has some questions. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, Gita. So uh, the thing is, uh, in the playlist that you have followed to create this website, there is a ninth video, right? That is 15 minutes long. So making the doctor list horizontal is actually part of your task. Okay. Watch yes. that video and make it horizontal and update it in the turn Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, because if you don't do that, we will not consider it completed. Because that is also part of your project. Okay. We have used CSS to make it horizontal. You can use that as a reference. Do some more research. How you can apply that on your result and then make it yes, horizontal. Sir. I first created that way, but then I changed the design. Thought it, it See, as uh, uh, Saurabh sir said, that you need to create it in horizontal because when we have a lot of uh, doctors, say, suppose currently the scope of your website is really small, but if we have like 10, 15 or 20 doctors, then that will be really a horrible experience for a user. Okay. okay so that is why the ninth video clearly focuses on creating it horizontal using the four left one. Okay? So watch that and make it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please take one. Yes, exactly. Uh, so as some yes, sir mentioned, and then uh, I will say that uh, you could have showed us the database, right? So uh, can you just uh, show me your demo part? Okay. Sir. Yeah, so when you when you do not enter anything and only click the search button, what does it get? Just click the search button. 
right so invalid parameters so you don't need the parameters okay well okay i was curious what does it what will it show okay uh so uh, you can uh turn back to your ppt and uh see uh when you are presenting now uh so show us the current scenario what you are in like not the future scope yeah. okay so it was not needed to add a future scope in the in, in one slide okay uh yeah. and the rest uh i believe uh, we cover everything about the uh, review and uh overall your presentation was okay okay but do work on the elaboration part yes sir. be more specific about the topics you explain right so uh, yeah that's all from our side thank you sir yeah so uh, next we have razi ahmed yeah razi you can unmute yourself Razi, if you are speaking, I can't hear you. Hello. Can you hear me? Your your voice is too low, Razi. Hello. Yeah, I still can't hear you. I can't hear you, Rajiv. Properly. I believe there is some problem with your audio device. Yes, Razi, your uh, voice is too low. Yeah, so uh, please fix your issue. Okay, so if problem is still persisting, so uh, I believe uh, we'll end our presentation session here. Uh, since there is enough time, we can take general queries as well. So, uh, people with general queries, you can raise your hands. Uh, okay, I believe it's uh, done for the presentation. Uh, Arazi, yeah. uh, go in your window setting and check for the micro microphone. Okay, I believe the volume is not uh, up to the point. It is uh, low by default. You have to change it. 
Okay, so I believe everyone is leaving because they don't have any general discussion, Saurabh. So if yeah. you know, we will give you uh, two minute, Razi. Uh, if you can't have your mic working properly by eight uh, five, then we will end the session for the today. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's wait for him. Uh, I will pause the recording. Uh, Razi, please try, else we can end the session at 8 5. Okay. You can present, I believe. Yeah. So, Razi, can you just tell me your project uh, topic name? Cigar Cypher. Cigar Cypher. Okay. Yeah, you can start, Razi. Good, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Rajiv Nasu. I am from Java Developer Group. And today, my presentation topic is Serial Cypher Implementation Java. So, this is a uh, content part uh, where we will discuss introduction, working, example, code, and output. Moving to next slide. So, in the introduction, uh, what is a Cigar Cypher? Uh, Cigar Cypher is a simple and full method uh, of crypto, uh, cryptography. And the Cigar Cypher is also called mono alphabetic cipher, uh, cipher, or additive cipher. Delia um, uh, Cypher, uh, cipher uh, is introduced. Who was the error emperor? Uh, technique to communicate with his officers. Uh, for this reason, the uh, shift cipher technique is called Caesar cipher. The Caesar cipher is a kind of replacement cipher where all letter of plain text is replaced by another letter. Moving to next slide. Uh, here we will see working. Uh, Caesar cipher uses substitution method. PL later in the alphabet are shifted by some fixed number of uh, spaces to yield an encoding alphabet. Means it is a type of substitution uh, cipher in which each letter in the plant text is replaced by a letter some fixed number of positions uh, down the alphabets. Uh, this is a, an example of a uh, cipher like. Uh, uh, when uh, we shift uh, three, so E will encode it uh, D, B, B will encode it to E, uh, C will be encoded F, and so on. Moving to next slide. Uh, this is a formula of encryption uh, X plus N mod 26. X is a position of character, and N is a shift. So, if we take an example, uh, like uh, uh, character X, uh, X is 23 plus a uh, shift will be 3. So, 23 plus 3, uh, 20, uh, 26 more 26. It is 1. So, uh, why like this? Uh, and the formula of decryption is x minus n mod 26. So, move to next slide. Uh, this is an example of uh, uh, example of uh, encryption uh, like plain text, engineer, uh, e n g i and double uh, e r. So, position of e is 4, n is 13, g is 6, i is 8. Uh, n is 13, e is 4, and r is 17. So, if we uh, use this formula, x plus 5 mod 26, we will get this result, uh, e is 9, n is 18, g is 11, uh, i is 13, n is 18, e is 9, r is 22. So, cipher text will be j, s, l, n, s, j, JW. So moving to next. Uh, like this. Uh, uh, like this. Uh, this is an example description. Uh, 
cipher text will be j s l l s j j w and position of j is 9 and uh, like this 18 11 13 15 9 22 if we apply formula x minus 5 mod 26 uh, then we will get a result like 4 13 6 8 13 4 4 17 and plain text will e and g i and e e r moving to next slide uh, this is a code fun uh, i am going to uh, the paper So when I enter plain text, okay, uh, Razi, we can't uh, see your demo part. Uh, Are you visible, sir? Uh, no, it's not visible. Yeah, now it's visible. So if we uh, put plain text here and enter, so plain text will be in there. Uh, if we uh, enter shift, uh, shift here as a pipe. So it will show result and descriptive text will be engineered. So this is the coding part. And this is the encapsulated coding part. We have we use loop and uh, we take here input as uh, yeah, string and character. And this is the descriptive data coding. We are also something. Uh, we use for loop and and take we will uh, we use the scanner uh, class here okay so this thank you sir this is part four. Okay, Razi. So, uh, I believe uh, uh, yesterday itself we uh, suggested you to add a Q and A slide and the conclusion slide, right? Sir, uh, and your I, contact info as well. Yeah, actually, I uh, made it and uh, two days ago, so I I was not modified. So next I will. But we just suggested you yesterday, so you could have easily improved uh, today, right? Sorry. Yeah, so uh, see, uh, Razi, uh, while you were explaining Steel Cipher, na, the introduction part where you uh, talked about Julia Cipher, so you could have added it uh, in the hook story part and started from there. Like, why do we need a Steel Cipher in Java? Uh, I can see you were only plain reading your PPT, right? So that should not be the case, uh, and uh, you should be using some pointers in your slides and then explaining them individually so that will be more uh you know that will look more properly more professional way and instead of just reading the plain slides and uh then your demo part let's uh say your demo part was nice uh, but uh, you could have explained the quotes properly more properly so you used uh, you you used your uh back end part in your slides right yeah. So you could have explained them there itself and then uh, explained your demo. Right. Believe that that's where you were missing and rest uh, your formatting is okay. I will say and uh, you just need to work upon the flow of the presentation. Okay. And uh, just don't miss this small, small things about uh, contact info, conclusion slide, Q&A and 
right okay yeah th that's that's all i have to say for this presentation please work, work on your communications part okay and uh, yeah that's all from our side uh, so since there are no more raised hands here so we'll uh, end this uh, presentation session here okay yeah sure yes sir oh, oh wait i will check a cost session if we have some people i can call them right okay sure uh, i believe uh, akash is you know, also done with the meeting because i okay, am the only participant in this yes exactly uh, i will just confirm with him okay Yeah, I confirmed with him. Uh, he is done with his side as well. Okay, then you can uh, close the meeting. Yeah, end this talk. Yeah.